How's it going folks, this is Wayne Art, back with another lesson and today we're looking at some acoustic blues in the key of an E. Now I did a little course for this uh, about 18 months ago, a little blues series, so if you do dig this stuff, obviously go over and check that out. I might even tag the first lesson to that in the comments below, so if you're into blues and you want to go and check that out. So this is sort of tied on to that, it's sort of extra things, there's a few cool licks that you can do around and stick it in, you know, basically the 12 bar blues. Um, I recently did a lesson and about the one four five chord sequence as well this is it commonly used in blues as i said in that lesson so um so this is sort of a build on that giving you an understanding of how all that works so we've got a little chord progression with some licks added in there so uh, i'll get to that in a minute so thanks to everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so it's very much appreciated a third way you could help me out is setting that little notification bell somewhere down there also, uh, I've got my Patreon page, so if, you know, the regular things that I do, song lessons and things like that, um, I post the chords, the lyrics and the strumming patterns up to a lot of those, particularly since I started about nine months ago, you know, everything's pretty much up there. And there's other things that aren't on YouTube as well, so the way that that works, um, you know, you just sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month, or however much you can afford, it's all very much appreciated, and it goes towards helping me carry on doing these lessons, it's sort of a way of me making, you know, not a lot of money, just enough to cover me, cover my time doing these lessons, so like I say, it's very much appreciated, and I hope it's really beneficial to you guys as well, having all that, to, access to all that, you know, that tab. So there we go, uh, please go over and give me a like on social media as well, as you always say, I saw on Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this lesson is in standard tuning, okay? So first of all, we've got this little riff. So what I'm doing there, I've got my first finger on the A string on the second fret and my third finger is going on and off the fourth fret. And what we do, we play that note with the open E string with downstroke. So we get this. Okay, let's play that slowly. So you can see that third finger going off the same string on that fourth fret on the A string. So keeping the first finger on that second fret on the A string. Okay, so then we've got this little lick. Okay, so the way that I do that, I'm using my third finger on the B string to slide from three to five. The first finger will play three, which is on the B string. And then on the G, we're gonna go four, three, two, naught. So. So put that together with the first section. Okay, so it does that twice. Okay, so then we go into this A7 chord, so. And we move that up two frets and turn it into an A minor seven chord. So what I've got my first finger on the third fret on the B string, my second finger is on the fourth fret, that will be on the D string. And then we do the A7 shape, that's on the fifth fret. So both fingers are now on the same strings, but I'm on the fifth fret, so what we get is this. back down to the A minor 7 shape, okay then we go back into the first riff. And then we've got the turn around so that will be a B7, A7 and we're going to play an A chord but with a D shape up on, so my first finger is now on the 9th fret on the G, second finger 9th fret on the top E string, third finger will be on the 10th fret, that will be on the B string. It's actually a triad A chord, so what we get is... And then we've got this little turn around where we go back to the 2nd fret on the A string, and my little pinky, you could actually do this with one finger if you struggle to reach to the 5th fret, but what we get is 2nd fret, 5, 4, 3, 2, to reach with that little pinky you can actually do it with one finger and at the end of that on the A string we're going to go naught one two and then play the B7 chord at the end 
and then it could either go around again in a loop or we could finish it on an E7 chord. Okay, so I'm just going to play the whole of the thing through really slowly so you can see how all that gels together. So we got. So thanks very much for watching it. You all dug that. Uh, I love sort of blues music, and I think it works very well acoustic blues, obviously on an acoustic guitar. If you want to go and check out the course, like I say, I'm going to tag the first lesson in the comments, and uh, it's just one of those things. I think if you played somebody as well, it's not over difficult to play. It sort of blows people away. It sounds very familiar. I mean, this sort of music has been around, you know, for for over a hundred years. You blues. And uh, all around that very familiar chord progression as well, the one four five chord progression. If you haven't seen that, I, put, I recently posted a you know a tutorial up about that about a week ago. So uh, if you want to just flip down my videos and go and check that out if you haven't already seen it. So thanks very much for watching. If you got any other requests for uh, any other blue stuff, I'm uh, only happy to oblige or anything you know song based, 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason so the easiest way is to comment in the post below or if you want to find me a personal message over on those platforms I suggested at the start of the video you know social media I do always reply to messages and I'm very grateful for messages as well so uh, do keep them coming I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests and I do have to hemp at them a little bit but don't let that put you off please keep your requests coming uh, I'll just quickly mention it again. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed. And if you are subscribed, obviously a third way you could help me out and yourselves out, because obviously you can keep up to date, is hitting that little notification bell up somewhere down there. Obviously the patron thing, that's uh, you know hugely appreciated. I'll put a little link to that in the comments as well and in the description if you want to go over and check that out. And uh, I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. So that just leaves me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.